If you're in a survival situation, here's the tech you need. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I want to show you this. It's by Irons Now, or Iron Snow, but I like Irons Now. And it's an emergency multifunction radio, but it's got a lot of other features. So I thought we would take a look at this true unboxing here. I just picked this up because this is the latest model from them. And what I really love about these things is that it is becoming more and more obvious that you need to stay protected and prepared for emergencies. You know, it can be anything from hurricanes to tsunamis to earthquakes to man-made disasters to wildfires to riots to flooding to tornadoes to just about anything. I could go on and on, but I digress. But one of these might get your butt out of a jam. And what's really cool about these is I've used them in the past and the Irons Now brand has been really, really good to me. They have lasted and I've put them in bug out bags in the trunk of my cars, you know, all that kind of stuff. And look how small this thing is. It's, I don't know, about the size of a cell phone, but obviously quite a bit thicker, but I can just palm it just like this. And it's pretty light. It's got a little bit of density to it because it's chock full of electronics here, but it's not going to weigh you down if you have this in a backpack or something like that. It does have a little lanyard on this end here, a red plastic housing. What we have here is a speaker right there for the radio. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go ahead and move this to FM. And it also has an antenna on the back here. So we'll just go ahead and deploy that little bad boy. And then the power switch is right here. I'm gonna turn that on. We're just gonna go through here, see what we can get. So if you're in an emergency situation, this can keep you connected to the outside world and entertain, say if you take this on a camping trip. If I go to AM here, what we can do is find an AM channel. The antenna doesn't need to be deployed for that, I believe. I think it's just like a copper coil inside. And then right next to it is this WB, which is weather band. So if you slide that over, now you can tune into the various weather band channels, which is really cool because around here we have the Great Lakes. So it's really nice to know what kind of weather you might expect on the water, near the water, those types of things. And especially when you might need this, it may be weather related and so you want updates on how much snow is coming or you know how much rain is coming those types of things and then on this last spot right here it says alert and that's really interesting i have never had a radio that's had that and what it does is it monitors the noaa channel and when it picks it up what it'll do is it'll put this into an sos mode so I kind of think it's like having it on alert and you know, if search and rescue is putting out the right signal, it'll detect this and start flashing and doing its siren thing. Then to turn off that alarm, you just hit this little SOS button right there. Now this SOS button will also do the same thing. If we long press it, it'll go into SOS mode. So it's just kind of cool because it'll help you in an emergency. So I actually like that as well. And that flashing light there can be used for a lot of things, signaling rescue or even putting in the back of your car to, uh, to work like a hazard light to keep people from rear-ending you and stuff like that. On the top, we have a little crystalline solar cell and that's going to help charge up the battery. And what's interesting about that is, you might be able to see here, we have little LEDs right there and they are lit up because that solar panel is actually charging the battery right now, capturing that sunlight and turning it into stored electricity. Now, if you don't have sunlight, that's okay. It does come with a micro USB cord right here so you, that you can charge it up. That micro USB plug is right here on the back. We've got a little rubber cover, you can see that. We also have a three and a half millimeter headphone jack right there as well as a USB port so you can use this like a power bank to charge up your cell phone if you need a little juice from this. But the nice thing is on the back here, we have a hand crank because this is also a dynamo. So if you don't have any of those, don't worry, you can go ahead and charge this up. What I really like is this is a pivoting handle right there. So you can just keep going like this. Now, people have mentioned that you don't produce a lot of electricity like this. And this is really kind of your last resort, but it'll give you a little bit of juice to hear the alerts, to use the flashlight. The button is right up here on the top. And this can be a lifesaver in a lot of cases, especially when it's dark, no full moon, you're out somewhere, you need to navigate around, you know, get out of the cave, whatever. Having 
handheld power generator here is a godsend. And I will also tell you that these LED bulbs don't require a lot of power. So, you know, when I have cranked these up for a couple minutes, you get, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes of runtime on a flashlight. That can be just enough to make sure that you get out of a situation or, or be able to find what you're looking for. Now that's not the only light on here. One of my favorite and most unique things about this is that right under here, under the solar panel, is another light and it just flips up just like this. And what you get here is a lantern light, a panel light, a cob light that you can use to light up your picnic table, your campsite, your tent, those types of things. It goes almost vertical, you can see that. And so you can set it up like this right there. You can um, kind of shine it out like that. And what's really cool is you can have both lights on at once. So if you want as much light as this thing will produce with both of these, you can absolutely do that too. But it just turns off as you push it back down. So pretty cool, I really. <laughs> I really dig that, that is a really cool feature. So this little tiny handheld radio has a ton of emergency features. It's totally packable and it's totally affordable. So if you wanna pick up this little radio, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.